back guys bacon three two one here and today I'm going to be showing you I'm going to be telling you I am going to be teaching you about one of the most strategic games in history board games in history chess so today I'm going to be showing you basically all there is about chess how you play it, what the rules are, how to set it up. Okay, right now we're going to set a normal board game up. Remember that there are two teams. One is on this side and one is on the other. Make sure that there's always a bright square on the bottom right corner so remember to have all of your pieces on the team match color now we're going to set up the um pieces this is a rook also known as a castle there are two of them and they both go go each in the corners and then next are the knights they look like horses don't they They are placed right here, right beside of the rooks. And then next, here are the bishops. There are two of these as well. You place them right next to the knights. And then last, you put your king to the left and your queen to the right in the middle and then you see all these pawns right here you place all eight of them in your team on the second row and next I'm going to do the same thing with the other team And so now, I have it set up. I'm going to show you how the pieces move. Here's how the pawns move. First, on their first move, they can either move once, one square forward or two squares forward. So either here or here. And that's for every single one of these pawns. The first time one of these pawns moves the first time, then they can move once or twice. And so now we're going to be looking at the rook. This is a very powerful piece. It can move anywhere vertically. Oh yeah, one more thing about the um, pawn. The only way it can attack somebody is if it goes diagonally one space. Pretend the game of chess as a war where everybody gets hit, everybody gets killed in one hit. So next, the rook. It can move anywhere vertically or anywhere horizontally in its direction. Once it hits somebody, it has to stop right there. It cannot hit multiple people, such as this. Also, no piece in the game can jump over a 
another piece except for this knight right here, which I'm going to be talking about next. And the knight moves in a pretty complex way. Well, not really. It moves in an L shape. It can move two spaces up, one space left, two spaces up, one space right, two spaces, one space up, two spaces right, one space up, um, two spaces left, or it can do one space down, two spaces left, one space down, or two places right. And next, we're going to be looking at the bishop. The bishop can basically go anywhere it wants to diagonally. And the queen is where it can move anywhere vertically, anywhere horizontally, and anywhere diagonally. It is the most overpowered piece on the board, but it's not the most important. It is the second most important. And last, I'm going to be telling you about the king. And how the king moves is pretty simple. All it does is move in the surrounding spaces that are available. The knight can also jump over people, such as this. But, if a pawn was right here, the knight cannot stop in its tracks just so that it can get that piece out. It has to jump over it, such as that. You get it? Okay. So now I'm going to be teaching you how to win the game. And to win the game is pretty simple. What you have to do is to trap the king so that no matter where it moves at all, then it will be in check. such as this. Look, you got your king right here. If he moves here, then he'll die by my rook. If he moves here, he'll die by my other rook. And if he moves here, he will die by my bishop. So now that king is in checkmate and the black team wins. What chess is, what check is, is basically a warning that means, hey, I'm going to kill your king if you don't move somewhere, such as this. This is check because my bishop can get his king, so his king needs to do something about it. And there's three ways to prevent, there's three ways to stop a check. One is to block the trail of check with another piece. The second way is to just move. And the third way is to kill it with another piece. Even though the pawns are not that powerful. They can change the game almost instantly with this one move. If they move to the other side, if they reach the other side of the board without getting killed, then they will revive any piece they want to back from the dead. Like this can re a real game changer right here. Look, that pawn got to the other side. They can replace it with a queen. Yeah. It will be overpowered. And so now they have a better chance of winning. 
Now, I'm going to talk to you about what castling is. Castling is a strategy of defense. It's basically where if your king and rook have not moved yet and don't have any pieces in between then they can do what's called castling where they can move his their queen two spaces to the left and the rook two spaces to the right this provides protection and it will get your rook out. No, not out by dead. I mean, it will make your rook, um, what's the term? It will just make it so that it has an opening to attack when it wants to. You can do the same thing even if Look, you can do the same thing even if it's this way, but this time it's a little different. This goes four squares to the right, and this goes two squares to the right. So I think that is all. I have to show you guys and now I'm gonna have to say goodbye I'll see you in the next video stay tuned where I do another tutorial on another game bye